Hello everyone, it's Paola. So I am so sorry that I have been very inconsistent lately. As you guys know, I just moved. This is another little piece of my room. It's still coming together. Get excited about a room tour. Also, uh, sorry if there's like noise. I just live in a city now and like we just need to adapt and I need to adapt to my schedule and that's why I've been inconsistent and I'm really sorry about that. But we are just, we're figuring it out horns are honking and we're adapting. <laughs> also, I just wanted to mention that if you are not subscribed and you're watching this, what are you doing? Subscribe. I make a lot of art and design fun content for you guys. So just wanted to start that off this way because why not? A shameless self plug. So anyway, today's video I wanted to make because I really wanted to share some lessons that I learned in art school and design school and lessons that I'm still using today, they still have stuck with me. So I feel like this will be beneficial to everybody and I think everyone can get something out of it, not just people going into college or uh, in school right now, but also people who are designers already or are interested in this at all. With that, let's get going. I want to start out by talking about my college experience just a little bit, a condensed version. Obviously I've talked about school before it's i've mentioned it a lot in different videos i went to a liberal arts college not a not a specific design art school um so i went to like a four-year university and studied design i got my bfa so bachelor of fine arts in art and then my concentration was in graphic design my minor was in art history but i had a great time i love school i'm one of those people that like loves learning loves the environment of school loves it all. I don't know if you're like the same kind of person, let me know if you are, um, because I feel like I'm kind of weird sometimes that I really like school and I feel like a little out of place, especially in the design and art field. I feel like a lot of people don't think school is important. Design school was so important to me. I don't think it's a 100% necessary thing, so a lot of people ask me that too. Is it completely necessary to go to school? I think it depends on the person. I would say that about a lot of different things. Art is one of those things that's very subjective and you can get by on a lot of talent but school is very important and being actually trained in specific things especially graphic design can only help you so that is all i have to say about that now let's talk about the lessons i actually learned okay why am i ranting already about school this is a wild ride <laughs> okay so lesson number one that really impacted me and changed my perspective on a lot of things is that it takes practice, not just talent. So like I just said, you know, art is one of those things that people, you don't have to have a degree or, you know, there's a debate on that or people have different ideas on that because you can be really talented and just be like, here's my art and people love it. You know what I mean? Like you can be really talented and just show your art and people will respond well to it. But like with people like me, <laughs> if you're anything like me, you, don't know how to draw that well or you don't like your drawing abilities or you know you don't feel like you're that trained in certain things you don't know what kind of medium you like with design especially like you don't know how to use the programs or like how to do digital design or where to start that kind of stuff that is like why you should go to school in my opinion if you feel like you're that type of person like me because I was like I don't know how to use the programs like I dabbled in little things in high school. I don't know how to draw. I think I'm terrible at drawing. Like, how am I going to be an artist? And let me tell you guys, practice makes perfect. Like, it really is a skill that you need to practice. Like, if you were trying to play the piano, you're not going to expect to just like sit down and be like, well, let me just become a famous musician now. Like, I'm so talented naturally. There are some people who are like that. Yeah, like geniuses. They just sit down, they're amazing. You have to practice. And obviously you know that the more you practice your piano, you'll get better. And it's the same thing with drawing. You don't have to have an inherent ability to draw. You can practice it and become skilled at it. So that definitely shifted in college for me because I was like, I need to get my drawing in check. Like I'm horrible at drawing. I felt so not confident about it, especially in my drawing classes because a lot of people were just, they were better than me, you know? The more I practiced, the more I actually was drawing and, you know, experiencing that because I was avoiding it before, then I got better. And I also 
embraced how I was doing it and my process. Everything is a skill that can be acquired by you if you just work at it, you know? And it's not just talent. You will be surrounded by talented people at school, yes. There's just so many different ways to be an artist and you just have to find what works for you and work at it and you will improve. That is definitely a very important lesson that I learned. The next lesson I learned is that mentors can really impact your life. So what I mean by that is just finding someone who you can really look up to, someone who can challenge you, someone who you can have like a back and forth thing with that will help you in, in your time at art school. And even beyond art school, that's why I feel like this works for not just art school, design school related things, because after school you still want to find those people that you can look up to and talk to and bounce ideas off of, because let me tell you, I came up with so many crazy ideas in school because of the people that I had guiding me and things that I never thought that I would even explore. Like different materials I wouldn't think to use or like different concepts I wouldn't think of. Um, and these people really helped me. And most of them were professors. Like my professors were so amazing. The professors I had, I still talk to them. They're still helping me. Like they have helped me like find like jobs to apply for and stuff outside of school so these professors are the best and like let me tell you art school is design school it's the place where you can actually bond with your professors like a lot of other college students do not have this experience at all because they just sit in a classroom their teacher talks to them and then they're like peace i'm going home like deuces i slept through a whole class you know what i mean you should really start forming relationships with them as soon as possible that's what i would say if you're actually in school or about to start school talk to your professors they're great they're so much fun and then after school keep in contact with them and you know that's why it's great to like develop this this friendship and this like great rapport with them because you can continue that on and they're a great resource to have in your life and Honestly, I was so inspired by them and that's how I came up with so many great ideas in school and got to explore and even got to fail a few times and they're the people who were like, that's fine, like, that's how you do it, that's how you become an artist, that's how you become a designer. So I definitely realized this while going through school and this is something that is definitely still in my life, still a big part of my life, is that I need community. I need, like me personally, I need to have people in my life who are also artists, who are also designers, who I can just, you know, talk with. And that really keeps me inspired and it, it motivates me to want to keep working. And honestly, it gives me ideas because I am sometimes lost without these people. When I was in college, I loved being at school all day. Like I never wanted to go home. Like I loved the structure of it. And I loved that I could like sit in like three hour classes with my friends and yeah, we were working, but we just be like working together. That's what I loved about school is that I was always with people. Like I was always with the people I wanted to see. And even if we were just working on our own stuff, it's like so great to have that and have those people in your life that you can rely on. And then also you can go to them and be like, I'm so stuck on this project. Like, I don't know what to do with this. And they just offer like unfiltered opinion. I think community is so important and especially post-grad, like when you're out of school, you need community because you can get in a rut so quick like i was in a rut recently and i really relied on my friends to like talk to them about what i needed to make and you know my ideas and then my friend was helping me collaborate with something and i was like this is great like i always need these people in my life to just keep me keep me like grounded and keep me happy you know and it's not just like friends it's like also friends who can do cool work with you like I think it's the best and school is definitely where I learned that I was like oh I do like structure oh I do like having these people around me all the time um and that really helped me figure out who I was in a way so that was definitely a big one for me friends friendship friendship is the answer you guys <laughs> another lesson I learned is honesty honesty is honestly a big one because as an artist as a designer you have to be honest in your work, but you also have to be honest as a person <laughs> because in art school, you'll have critiques 
you have to be brutally honest sometimes and you know the more honest and open you are the more you can receive that back from people and I think you know design school gave me a thick skin because it was such an open and honest environment but it also helped me just not be like so nervous with stuff like I I don't feel scared to like go up and present my work to people or like talk in front of people and I think that can only help me now that I'm in the working the working world um like interviewing and stuff it's just like here I am like I am an artist I am a designer like this is who I am and honesty is just exactly what I'm presenting like I'm presenting myself and so it's only helped me after school in just showing who I am and showing who I am online like art school really helped me just like be like hi I'm here like this is me this is me on camera you know what I mean so <laughs> that's just a big one for me because the more honest you are the better your work will be because you're you're not trying to do something and trying to force something that you just don't feel connected to. I feel like honesty is a big one because it has helped me so much just come out of my shell. It is helping me now feel like I can be like, this is just who I am as a designer and I'm going to make whatever I want to make. And even if it's bad, like it's still just me doing it. Hopefully something stuck out to you that you feel like you need to pay more attention to or something that you feel like you learned. Um, also, let me know what you want to see. I'm taking a lot of suggestions in future videos, so definitely let me know in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I will see you in my next video, and I have some other ideas coming up, but I definitely want your guys' input, so let me know, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!